Sonny's one of the best guys that I've known for years. But during his youth days, the guy was one of the worst bad boys that you developed and grown in Kapahulu. But then when you put him back in surfing, first started his first surfing meet, he changed. He loved it because he won. From then on, Sonny was made. And now, now he, he's an icon around here. I'm pissed, you know, the, you know, everything that I've had in my life I had to work for really hard and, um, you know, have everything taken away the way I did, um, pretty upsetting. I want to step on toes, you know, I want to step on eagles, you know, I, I want to crush people's chips on their shoulders. In the last 20 years, I think I got jaded just being one of the, one of the top guys, you get lazy, you just show up at certain events and um, and now I feel like there's not enough time in the day to do all the things that I want to do so you know age is just a number and uh, my main goal is just to lose a lot of weight and get in shape and just get back in the water and and show these guys that that I deserve to be there I'm gonna go surf back door in a little bit you want to come out Are you gonna back door? yeah I'll block for you <laughs> He's a warrior. He's, you know, won the Triple Crown more times than any other surfer. Um, you know, he's definitely been a, a such a dominant surfer here on the North Shore for the last 15 years. Power. Power. Just rule power. He's got a heart of gold. He is, uh, I mean, you think of power surfers, you think of Sonny, you know, I mean, and you think of a Hawaiian that made his mark on pro surfing. I don't think there's anybody in this world that wants to be on that tour more than me. I don't think anybody can question what I've done in the past, what I've done for the union, um, and what I can attribute to this tour. By virtue of being a past world champion that I'm actually even in, this, in the Triple Crown. If I do well in the first two events, then uh, I'm sure that I'll, I'll, I'll get a spot at fight. But, you know, if I don't get a, a spot in the CT, I'm gonna go on the QS. It's gonna take me a year or more. And then when I do get back on that tour, I'm going to make it very hard for everybody that voted against me. If anybody has a problem with it, they can talk to me about it. He's trying to make a comeback right now, and, um, you know, he's looking as fit as ever, and he's looking good. Over the last 20 years, I've watched Sonny mature as a, both a competitor and a person. He's had his highs and his lows, been the world champion, and, of course, you know, he spent time for tax evasion. Everybody's pretty well aware that, you know, I went to prison uh, for for tax evasion and tax fraud or whatever it was. You know, I did three months in a, in a federal prison in uh, Bakerfield, California. I had time to uh, read books, train, uh, lose weight, and then followed up by another six months of house arrest in, uh, in, in California. But basically what they did was they only let me out of the house to the event, so I could basically went cold turkey to the event to serve. Um, then I moved to San Diego. I got a court order to surf at the trusses event to come out of, out of the house and then compete against the world best surfers, not being in shape. And um, it was kind of a gamble, but because I wanted to surf so bad, I didn't mind looking bad to be able to surf. The majority of all my sponsors left me when I went to prison, um, which is fine. You know, it, it, it's, it's not personal, it's biz business even though I do take it personally. It was humbling, but you know, now I've had some time to surf and these guys are in my backyard. Yeah, Sonny's a legend, you know. Um, I've looked up to him since I was a little kid, you know, watching the um, Triple Crown on TV, you know, he's won the thing six times and uh, yeah, he's, and then he's done so much for surfing too. I'm gonna do as much as I can. You know, I want to do the tow ins. I want to do the QS. I want to do the CT. You know, I want to go on photo trips. I want to do as much as I can because I think God's given me a, a, a second lease in life, and uh, you know, I really want to make the most of it. My life has just started. You know, everything that I did before was that's a pass. Every day just sets up tomorrow, so you know, it can get better. So I want to make the most of what I have left and then uh, 
and then when that's done, you know, see what see what my options are. You know, I, I'm actually looking forward to, to coaching kids. You know, I want to coach. You know, I, I want to just coach. I want to make sure my kids are winning. So um, I'm looking forward to to doing that. I'm not coming back to to say I'm back. You know, I'm coming back. I, I want to win another world title. I want to be in the mix. And if I can't win the world title, I want to be upsetting whoever in the title chase. I'm just me, man. A little older, a little wiser, but basically still me. And everything he does is what he want to do. That's sunny.